Hey, what's up? It's that metal guy, 1983. Uh, just doing a video. Um, I don't know if you saw my post, but uh, I've taken a little bit off of products to kind of re reset my skin and my facial hair, uh, my beard. Um, just so when I go to use products again, I can know exactly what is affecting what and uh, know exactly where to go from there. Um, I was using products and I use quite a bit of different products being a reviewer and I have sensitive skin and I was causing irritation and breakouts. Um, and so I wanted to fully get everything out of there. The only thing I've been doing is washing and conditioning uh, for the last week. Um, still looks pretty darn good, right? Um, and hopefully uh, once I go to use product again, I'll be able to get a true reaction from my hair and my skin on how that's interfacing with it. Um, so that's kind of what's going on there. Um, that's why you haven't seen me do any product reviews. That's also why I haven't been super active on Instagram, uh, except for putting up posts uh, for different companies in my stories. Um, and then my stuff that I've been putting up as far as how I'm doing, how I'm feeling and um, kind of how I see things. So, um, Anyways, uh, that's kind of what's going on there. Um, other than that, um, I was kind of just watching some inspirational things. There was a live uh, where they were doing kind of like a podcast with Detroit Grooming. And uh, they had Joshua Coburn on there and Sin Coburn on there. Um, and if you don't know anything about that couple, uh, they've been through hell and back and they... Uh, basically um, kicking life in the butt and uh, helping motivate people and uh, they're just really inspirational um, and so um, it got me thinking of our own, my own life and how people uh, just get in their own way of their own happiness and success and are afraid to make those leaps and changes um, as far as you know, going for advancement in their career or choosing a whole new path just because, you know, how that could affect their their family. I know that it is scary. The unknown is scary. I mean, with your job, there's, you know, your pay, your time off, your benefits, um, medical, dental, vision, etc. And if you have a wife and kids that depend on you, um, that could affect what you get and how they're covered so it's scary um i just recently put my hat in the ring for a supervisor position that i'm really excited for it was uh not for like a team of salespeople at my work but something completely different um and i feel like i'd be pretty good at it uh it's uh basically um for net promoting uh and kind of how uh, we can enhance the employees experience at work and our customers experiences and I think I have a great knowledge of how to t how to do that but uh we'll see what happens there um, it's my first time really going with the, going in for a position actually putting an application in so you know if anything I'll just get some good feedback and what to work on um, outside of that I'm really just uh, kind of working on my confidence and getting my my head straight um there's a lot of things in the world that try to hold you back including yourself and your doubt um and letting other voices get in your head or just things in general that probably have no actual real tangible thing that's going to hold you back, but you're scared or nervous or um, you don't think you can do it. And I need to, and I continue to work on that on a daily basis on being confident in who I am as a career man, as a father, as a husband, um, and believing in myself um, and that I can 
live out these things that I want to do. Um, I know I'm tired of just talking about it and not being a doer. Uh, you know, I have had huge limelight type dreams my whole life about, you know, becoming a rock star or, you know, getting into film or, you know, opening up my own business, um, which I do have eventual plans to do that. And uh, there's those who want to support me in that and are willing to invest in that. And uh, it's going to be a long, slow growing road, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, just need to take the first initial steps. Um, I love doing beard product reviews. Um, I love this community. Um, I love getting to interact with all of you and talk to these companies and support everyone because I do think that there is room for everyone to succeed. There's millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of bearded people in this country, let alone the world, that um, don't know about products or are just discovering them and can buy them. Um, so definitely, uh, you know, if you're a company just starting out um, and you're good and you're not going to cause drama in the community and you want somebody to be in your corner, I can help you. Um, other than that, um, on video, I just want to say congratulations to Barbado Joe for uh, getting that collab with Miners. I think that's amazing. I'm excited for Emo to have his collab. Um, just some great guys in the community are coming out with some things. Excited to see what's coming around the corner um, for a lot of people um, uh, coming to pass. Um, kind of going back on to just life, like, why do we doubt ourselves so much? Um, is it, for me personally, um, and I will kind of go into it, I was raised uh, in a super religious household with people that didn't really practice it. Um, as far as uh, I was raised LDS, my dad joined the church to marry my mom. He was extremely bipolar and had a lot of problems, and I was usually his target, um, unfortunately. And um, I was always kind of treated like the outcast in my family and that I would, should just settle for what I can get. Um, I can do anything, but I can't. You know, this, you know, I'm going to beat your ass. But then I'm going to tell you I love you and I'm sorry and everything's okay. Kind of like, you know, just back and forth like that. So I don't know if that's that's still affecting me. I don't know. Um, I've cut out my parents, my siblings because of so many reasons. And, and they were just causing problems. And I didn't want the cycle to repeat with my kid as far as how my parents or my siblings would treat her and she has her own issues um, as far as if you know me she's got some mental illness as well um, and so I would just um, I'm trying to take all that in stride and figure things out I'm gonna be 36 in December and I still feel like I'm getting things ironed out which I guess it's never too late to figure it out and own who you are in your life and become who you're truly meant to be. Um, I'm working on it a little more every single day. Um, every day is a struggle, um, especially with chronic pain and dealing with a, my daughter with what she has going on and the stresses of finances and everything else kind of coming at you at once, which we all have those problems. But, uh, I'm working on trying to find a balance, seeing beauty in what I do have and working towards things that I want to give them and give myself. Um, it's not just about having things. I want to have my own house and be able to provide a home with a backyard and be able to have that space that I don't have people on either side of the wall of me. And, you know, I want to have my own piece of property 
um, and be able to give that to my wife and daughter and have a place where I could say, this is our place. We could always come here. You know, I think that's important. Um, I just, and I, and I want to have a place where we could just do what we want and be creative as loud as we want crank our tunes. Um, you know, have a, just a creative space, like maybe like a garage where we could paint, play music, all that kind of thing. Um, those are dreams that I have and I'm going to work towards getting those. Um, just know that no matter how hard things are, there's somebody out there who loves you, um, regardless of that's in your immediate circle or a uh, higher power. Um, we're not going through this for nothing, I could tell you that. Um, there's got to be something at the end of all this that is, uh, you know, where we're going to have here at the end of this. I just know that there is an afterlife. I know that there is a higher power, a God, if you will, that is there. I've had that inner jacked into my life and helped me through situations and saved my life from horrible situations, giving me the strength to get through certain things. Some of that's my own strength, but, and some of the, my wife, Angela, is backing me up and giving me the uh, backbone to finally say enough is enough. But uh, I want you guys to know that I truly do care. Um, I've always been, since I was a kid, a lover. I, I, you know, my parents used to tell me I used to go up to, you know, old people and run up and give them a hug because I could just sense that I've always had kind of that, you know, other sense that, you know, I have that connection to people and, uh, you know, the other side too. I have I'm really sensitive to that anywhere I've ever lived. If you want to ask me about that, go ahead. You can send me a DM on Instagram. If you guys ever need somebody to talk to or, uh, anything like that, you can hit me up. I'm going through my own struggles too, but we don't get through it unless we go through it together and we need to get it out in the open and air it out because bottling up is not doing anyone any good. Uh, it can turn really dark and ugly really quick. And I want, I want everyone to be happy. I want everyone to get along. I know that sounds cheesy, but I really do want peace, love, and understanding between everyone and the whole world. And I want to see how the beautiful the world could be and that's how I picture the afterlife and I hope that we can work towards that in this life but I know that in the next that we will all see ourselves as the same and uh, live together in harmony and all the ugliness and hate will be gone and it'll be pure nirvana and I look really forward to that I'm not trying to get there anytime soon you know I want to live until I'm an old man and watch my grandkids run around and um, have an amazing long life with Angela. Um, but anyways, I'll be getting back to beard product reviews next week. Um, I'm going to start putting products in probably in a few days. Um, so I'll probably do some beard roll calls, um, possibly. Um, but, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Check to see that you are. I'm trying to hit 200 subs by the end of the month. I know me probably not doing beer park reviews for the last week and a half is not really helping, but you know, we all go at our own pace. If it doesn't happen, so be it. But uh, anyways, you guys have an awesome day. Um, and uh, as always, keep on rocking. Take it easy. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye.